ultimately developing rationality and logical skills is really a process that takes years to develop. Today, I want to share with you the five most important things that I've learned through my journey. The number one thing for me is engage, and this really comes from Daniel Kahneman's book, Thinking Fast and Slow, which I've mentioned a ton on my channel. What being engaged means is really reading the material, listening to, to the lecture, maybe, or watching that video. The process of being engaged can simply be done by just squinting your eyes. The second principle is aim. Aim for the problem, not the controversy. This is something that I see done so much, is that it's not the controversy that you see on Instagram that's really the problem that you're looking at. You can take the example of abortion or the Black Lives Matter movement. You go on Instagram, you're going to see something that doesn't represent the whole picture, the whole story. This also includes setting aside personal motives. You might, at the beginning, kind of want something to be more right than the other, and that's setting yourself up for failure as from the perspective of rationality. You need to set those things aside and really aim at exactly the problem. The third principle is listen. Listen to both sides of the story. Studies show that people who listen to both sides are, have more empathy and make more rational decisions. And this obviously makes sense. One thing that's important to note is because you've listened to both sides, it's going to be a little tougher to make your decision as it usually is. Take the conversation on abortion. Many pro-lifers and pro-choice people have never looked at the other side or listened to somebody from a differing perspective. And I guarantee you that many who have instantly see the lines being much more gray and much more complicated than it originally seemed. The fourth principle is to be patient. Don't rush into a decision. Obviously, if there's a time crunch and you need to make a decision quickly, then that's unfortunate. But for most of us, especially with these bigger life decisions like, you know, what religion should I follow or how should I live my life? Don't be in a rush to go out and figure it out today. It's a lifelong process. takes a lot of time. Another thing to consider is that your brain can actually work on things passively. So if you go... For example, to a debate and you see two differing perspectives and you really don't know what to think about at the moment, it's all right. Be patient. Your brain will actually dedicate some energy to figuring things out passively. This also works for things like math and English and different subjects in school if you're maybe in college or something like that. The fifth principle is be humble. I can't stress this one enough. Your beliefs should change. You know, your beliefs when you were three are completely different to what they are now. And they should be, you know, when you're 53, when you're 63, you know, 10 years from now, your beliefs should have changed and molded. It's healthy. It's really one of the key characteristics of somebody who is rational is that their beliefs develop over time. A quote that really relates to this goes something along the lines of the most rational individuals are the ones willing to change their minds. It takes a very special person to admit that they are incorrect and to change that belief, but people who do that are going to fix their erroneous behaviors and beliefs much faster than somebody who's resistant to that change. And it's a constant reminder just to be humble. Whether you're making a big life decision, trying to figure out who to vote for in the next election, or maybe just talking to your Mormon friend about their faith, these five simple tips will help make sure that those conversations and those discussions go as smoothly as possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like information like this.